Welcome back everybody. Today we are going over these drum magazines as you probably guessed by the title of the video. These are relatively new made by Magpul and are the D50s. Right now we got 49 loaded up and just to kind of show you how it loads even when completely or almost completely full. Uh, basically all you're going to do is push this tab up here and that will release the pressure from the stack allowing me to top it off just like so. So uh, I guess one of the big questions is, why would you want this? The, I guess you'd say normal or standard capacity mags that come with the Scorpion are either gonna be 30 or 35 rounds. These ones give you 15 more and are a good bit more expensive. Well, a few reasons. Number one, reliability. Uh, to date, we've put hundreds of rounds through these and have had zero malfunctions of any kind. Combine that with the Scorpion platform just being a very reliable gun in general. And that's a good thing. Uh, 15 more rounds, you know, if you don't want to do a reload and or you want to make the government upset, these are what you should be looking for. So <laughs> what we're going to do today is test the durability of them, see what they can hold up to abuse wise. And then at the end, we'll go over, I guess, what we think of them overall. Before we start dropping it, I just want to show that this is a functioning magazine here. Got it topped off in the gun. So send a few rounds down range. Functions perfectly fine. So with that, we'll make the gun clear for safety and go ahead and see what will happen. When we drop this thing, we'll kind of drop it in the most likely scenario here first, just kind of, you know, you tripped and fell and for whatever reason, you're standing on steel <laughs> from shoulder height. Direct hit, so hit with full impact there. And it looks perfectly fine. It's got a scuff on it, but doesn't appear that there's any type of damage. Do that one again. Again, those are just nasty hits right there. Kind of walk over and show you guys here. Not sure if you can see it, but there is a slight scuff mark on there. I think it should work just fine. Outside of some dirt that might have might gotten the action. Yep, still going strong. Let's continue the pain. So right now it's still got obviously over 40 rounds in it. We're gonna do some drops on the feed lips. I don't really know how this would naturally happen, but we'll see. One thing about the drum magazines is that it has that steel lever there that kind of assists with loading on the side. Who knows, that could be something that is uh, predisposed to failure. We'll find out. All right, we lost a round. Other than that, ooh. Got a pretty gnarly scuff here on the outside of the feed right there. You guys can probably see that. I don't think that'll impede feeding or anything or function. Try that one one more time. Lost another round. And basically, did the exact same thing to the other side. Again, so you guys can see it right there is where we hit that time. Let's see how it works. All right, seated just fine. Seems to work just fine. One thing that's nice about the magazine is that it's able to be disassembled for cleaning and maintenance, but because of that, you have these clips sort of up front. And in the past, on a D60 test, that was one of the failure points that we found. Of course, I extremely abused it beforehand, <laughs> but it did uh, cause an issue, so it broke off. So let's see kind of how that would look if you were kind of like moving forward and accidentally hit it on something and the impact of that. So we're just going to drop it, try to hit it right there. Yeah, we definitely did. <laughs> Successful on the hit. And 
it definitely looks like it's just fine. It's definitely dirty. It's got a scuff mark on it, two of them. You guys can probably see that actually if I bring it in. So it's all scuffed up right here on the edge and then there. I think that's actually from hitting the stand rather than the wood itself, but appears to be fine. It's still locked in. Ooh, that was a gnarly one. It's sort of a reliability test of the gun too with all the sand that we're putting in there. All right, so we got it more scuffed up right on that part I was talking about. So that's a new one right there, that dent and ding. And these pieces are what I had fail on the D60. So definitely directly impacting it. Let's see if it's still functioning. This gun needs to be cleaned, something fierce. Running fine. I definitely think the most likely thing that's gonna cause you an issue, practically speaking, as an end user of the product, is if it was dropped just in the gun as it is. So again, we're just gonna redo that a few more times and make sure it holds up to it. And uh, after that, we'll start getting a little impractical. Still good, direct hit. All right, got something to break. I knew we would. <laughs> so just like I mentioned earlier, the D60, we had the very similar thing happen. It came off just like so. Now this one didn't break, I don't think, actually. I think this one will go right back on. So let's see, let's find out. It looks like this one just popped out. You can see these secured in there. Yeah. Yep, snap right back in. Cool. All right, let's keep going. We're definitely. Ooh. I moved it off the dirt, and of course, it went right back in the dirt. But it's jacked up a little bit, but I think it'll run. Let's see. Can't be mad about that. Like with most products, when you get this in, there are instructions on how to clean and maintain it. And uh, definitely in those instructions, it does not say pour dirt into the action of the magazine. But we're gonna do that just in case. So this is actually really loose sand out here right now. And See how it does with the sand in the action. You guys can see it is fully in there. That's a lot of sand. It probably should not run. Let's find out. <laughs> That's why we're here. I should also mention at this point, the folks at Magpul did send one of these out and then Brownells sent a couple out as well. So I appreciate that. And the folks at Minuteman Munitions sent the ammo that we're using. So. Appreciate that again. Without those folks, this type of science just can't happen. So it did have a hard time seating there. It didn't have that before. It's probably the dirt, obviously. I would say that's the likely culprit. Looking in there, it's just vile. You guys can't see it, but it doesn't look good. I think it didn't seat. Yep, it didn't. It didn't fully seat there. So where it seats is back here on the rear of the magazine, where it latches rather, excuse me. So I just opened the bolt. All right, now I think it locked. All right. Malfunction. It's really hard to open that. That's not normal. All right. So I can't open the action right now. It's just locked up. Well, that would explain it. I think I'm gonna have to pour some water in there because it's just locked up. And I should also add that it is not feeding anymore. Um, so definitely don't put sand in your mag.
kids. Just to show you guys, we're still using the same mag. I basically turned the magazine upside down and just started smacking it and a ton of dirt came out of it. So it seems that at least if it's in there, you can smack the crap out of it and get it to come out. Additionally, I just took my cooler and drenched it down with water and was able to open the action and cycle it a few times. I think it'll work, we'll find out. So we'll see if it'll seat normally. Yep, it's seated and was able to chamber around. At least it looked like I did. Malfunction. That's what we got right there, failure to feed. I think the dirt, yeah, it is. The dirt is just still preventing it from coming up. So I think the dirt is gonna be what killed this guy at the end of the day. We'll try it one more time and see if it works. Again, I just smacked it upside down a bunch of times to get dirt out and there was more dirt that did come out, so. Same thing. It's just not going all the way to the top. Again, I could pull it apart right now and you know, lube everything down, take all that dirt out of there. I guarantee it would run just fine. But what fun would that be? Let's keep going. So off camera, I just went over my truck and unloaded it. I did not clean it. I did not put any water or anything like that in there. I just unloaded it, shook it, more dirt came out and I loaded about 20 rounds in there. I think just from hand cycling it, it might feed now. We'll see. Moment of truth. works just fine. And again, I did not take it apart. I did not clean it. I just emptied it, shook the dirt out. So let's keep going. Well, got some grass in there, but I think it'll still feed. Let's find out. Fresh off of being run over by the Tacoma, locked in, looks like it's fed. Still going, we'll kill it this time. At this point, we've done pretty much anything that you could practically expect to encounter that would damage your mag to it, and it's going strong. I expect this video could be 40 minutes long of me doing that, but we're gonna put it out of its misery and hit it with 115 grain uh, Minuteman munitions. Let's see how it still holds up to that. I would say it's probably not rated for this. <laughs> Right now, y'all have the benefit of having seen that slow motion. I can imagine from what I saw in real time that it looked pretty darn cool. That thing basically exploded. And probably the reason for that, of course, is the uh, spring tension that's on the inside just came apart, obviously, all at once. But that is the internal spring, as you guys can see there. And uh, one of the rounds is still there, still ready to feed. And then of course, that is the inside of it. And we center punched it right there. So that caused that thing to just pop and parts go everywhere. I really actually didn't see where a lot of them went. I looked around and I mean, they must've went pretty far because <laughs> I didn't see much beyond what you guys see here. But just kind of a cool thing to show you here, guys. It does lock back on the last round. We should point that out. That is a feature set. And this is the internal follower that goes around the springs there. And the last thing you see when it's uh, actually out of rounds is that orange piece right there sticking up and looking at you. And it just kind of goes up like that through the magazine. So it's kind of cool to actually see it uh, from the inside. But I did that just because we had that in the video, guys. So again, pros and cons to the mag. Number one, pros, it's been 
100% reliable. Obviously what you guys saw here with, without the dirt being introduced to it, what you guys saw here was an extreme test of its reliability. And of course the Scorpion is a super reliable firearm just to begin with. So you combine that with a very reliable magazine and it's a pretty good system. Um, so that's definitely a pro. Obviously an extra 15 rounds or an extra 20 rounds, depending on what you're comparing it to is a good thing. Um, now people will always say, oh, I can get the, you know, the 30 or 35 round mags for whatever, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Um, and this one right now, anyway, as of when I'm posting this video is going for over a hundred dollars. So why would I want that? Well, I don't know if I had, you know, an option, if, Scorpion was my home defense gun or self-defense gun or whatever the case may be. And I had the option to have 50 rounds that were as reliable as the 30 or 35 rounds. I would go with that personally to not have to change a magazine. It could be the difference between life and death, depending on the scenario. Is it super likely? No. Is it possible? Absolutely. So there is that, but yeah, that's definitely going to be the con of it. It's just going to be the price point. Um, in terms of Scorpions and 922R and all those sorts of considerations, if you're concerned with that, obviously it's made in America as well, which is another benefit of it. So, I mean, yeah, I've been perfectly happy with them. I will continue shooting these in the future for years to come. We've shot it in AKV, if anybody's asking about that, um, and it works fine. And, uh, and of course, there's a number of guns right now that take the Scorpion pattern magazines. I've only tried it in the AKV and the Scorpion itself, um, but it worked fine in both of those. If anybody else has tried them in any of the other guns and you've had success or failures, let us know down below in the comments section. And with that, I suppose that sort of wraps up the video for today. Uh, if you guys like this type of video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe button if I can speak, because uh, we do these types of videos all the time here on the channel. And if you hit subscribe and the notification bell and you're still not seeing two to four videos a week here on the channel, uh, you can sign up for my email list at the website here on your screen. And that email only goes out once or twice a month, pretty much once, uh, almost never twice. And it just has all the videos since the last email went out. So that way there's no algorithm censoring your eyes from my content. Additionally, if these things go on sale, um, generally I'll post it up on my various social media sites that you guys see here on your screen. If you're not following me on those, I definitely recommend it, particularly Telegram. It's the best place to follow me if you guys actually want to see my content right now. Um, but if you're not following me there and you want to see the deals that I post, you can sign up for my daily deals email. I send that out pretty much every day and it has a six or seven of the best deals that I find around the internet and they go out every day. So that way you guys can save some time because you don't have to look for them and you can save some money because again, they're good deals. I wouldn't send them out if they weren't. So that is it. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I truly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.